there we go. Um, so I'm recording now. Okay, welcome Pamela and welcome Jackie. Um, and obviously this is the um, online conversation that we're having today. Oh, there's a beautiful photo. Sorry, I've just seen Jackie put up a really beautiful photo. It distracted me. Um, this is the online uh, connect, communicate, collaborate online chat um, as part of the tell patch. And we were hoping for a few more people, um, but we've, we've just got the, the main crew are here. So, um, so we're here. So um, I've just wanted to, um, to show you the Padlet that we've got up on the link. I don't know if you've been into Blackboard this morning, um, Pamela, but I'll just um, share my screen so that you can see the main Padlet. You should be able to see this beautiful photograph I was talking about. Can you see that now? <laughs> yeah, I, I had seen it this morning. Wow, look at that, Jackie. That's, that's beautiful, that. Jackie. I didn't realise the Padlet was there, and um, yeah, that's a picture one of my friends took on it with his black and white reel, and um, I gorgeous. thought, gorgeous, really nice. Okay, so should we just do a quick um, introductions then, Pamela? Because obviously we, we we kind of got interrupted last time, didn't we? When we were talking, so could do you just want to? Um, I'll stop sharing my screen, and then um, perhaps you can um, let me do it now you can uh, just give us a quick kind of uh, synopsis of who you are and, and what you do and things like that. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing that and we'll go back to you. Um, and if you want to grab the mic, Pamela, and just do a quick introduction for us, that would be fab. Okay. Um, I work in the postgraduate research office, so I'm in charge of the skills development and training for postgraduate research students. Ah, brilliant. So we have some of the issues around the fact that it's all optional so they just book onto things and they've got lots of other commitments they're trying to balance so I was hoping to get out of the tell patch lots of ideas to try and increase accessibility and things like that so if they've got a lot of them do like teaching assistant work or demonstrating and uh -huh. some of them part-time a lot of them not even based in Swansea and we have collaborative uh, degrees and things so where students might be based in another country so trying to get the range of learning opportunities Oh, no. is available in a way that different people can access it oh that's great did it pause then? <laughs> you did you kind of went frozen <laughs> um so so of some of the things that you've come across then do you think they might be helpful for you then yeah i've started using some of them already the blog's been the best thing i think because then you can hear what people are actually using and how they're using it mm -hmm. and see the kind of real world examples and then you can relate that a lot more easily to what you might do than if you just read about you know a software thing or whatever mm. so uh, yeah padlet was one i didn't know about until this so right. i've started using that already oh, um, as a like an extra resource so if they do come to like face-to-face -face sessions and then just collating everything to support that into the padlet and they can obviously put the comments on the things then if they want to so oh, i haven't shared it with any students yet but i have prepared a couple oh excellent Certainly, um, mm -hmm. something i want to have a look at great so we can have some online content um, I'm not even using Blackboard at the moment for what we do, ah. so I want to. I've um, got a bit of an issue at the moment trying to find out how to get me onto it as an instructor. Right. So we know what the title of it is, but we don't know a module code or anything like that. So I'm just trying to ah, right. identify well, it and you know be able to use that. Well, Jackie could probably give you some advice with that, Jackie, couldn't you? Is there um, is there something that's already present in Blackboard that you want to join? It is, yeah. So a couple of my colleagues are on it. So when they log into Blackboard, they can see it. it's just called Research Skills. And it should be something that all postgraduate research students are automatically enrolled onto. Mm. But I don't know how I would go about being an instructor on that as well. Um, well, any of your colleagues that are instructors can add you. Okay, they probably don't know that. They're no. about as savvy as me, probably. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, um, what's your username? Um, Pamela dot styles. S T Y L E S is yes. it? If I um, send you an email after, and it's called Research Skills, I'll have a little yep. look myself. Thank you. I find it. Okay. See, um, aim to please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That'd be yeah. great. And I'll also um, add you to um, the Blended Learning Pilot module because there's some ideas in there of how you could develop your content okay in your, in your blackboard area 
That'd be great. If Thank you want, you. I was going to say when you get a, um, a chance as well, if you've, if you're kind of uh, creating things and using things that we've covered, if you wanted to maybe share them back with people as well and get some kind of feedback on them, you're more than welcome to, to do that. And you could share them on these padlets and what have you, because we can, or if you get stuck with things. Oh, is that, is that you, Jack? Oh, sorry, it's my fault. I'm so late now. <laughs> So far, we've had Jackie's mum this morning that popped in to say hello, and uh, now phone call. It's very, it's just shows you what life is like, see, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm really encouraged that you, you're already using stuff, and that'll be great for you as well for your um, for the PG cert bit, because obviously you you're actually actively trying to get some yeah some uh, some of these ideas developed into things, and once you start using it with your um with your research students as well and then you've got the feedback from them that's great then because that kind of closes the loop a bit then doesn't it yeah I think the only fear now is putting a lot of time and effort into developing things and then maybe finding they don't engage with it very much or something but we've got to give it a go yeah exactly yeah, yeah I know. mean I was going to say I could, I'm doing a, a part-time PhD but I'm doing it up at Lancaster so if there's anything I can help with I don't know if you want to kind of run anything past me to see that's I'm more than happy to help if that's anything. You can show what they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> can you remind me the name of the, it was called Research Skills. Research it? Skills, yeah. Apparently. Okay, and you don't know if it's an organisation or, or a, a module? I don't know. Okay, don't worry, carry on. It's just... <laughs> something on blackboard it's yeah that's about the extent of my knowledge <laughs> there's something on there that's okay because i'm exactly probably full of meant. a load of rubbish that's the problem i need to get in and have a look <laughs> oh bless well you can embed your padlet into blackboard as well okay see yeah and then um you know so people can either use it um there and then or they can actually go on the link and use it outside of blackboard as well so that would be quite useful yeah um, one of my colleagues was saying as well that there was something in blackboard that you can put a tracker on so you can see how many people download or access the particular bit of content yeah. is that easy to do is that a statistics tracker jack yeah you can um every time you create content you can put a switch on which says to um gather st statistics but uh Really, if the statistics in Blackboard are not brilliant, to be honest with you, Pam. But if something is better than nothing, you can at least see if people have opened something. Yeah. I mean, if you put something up and no one opened it, at least you'd know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's at least useful for that. <laughs> <laughs> see how optimistic I am. <laughs> well, we ran a course this Tuesday, and we had over 20 people signed up, and three of them came. So, you know. Ah, oh, yeah. We're, we're going to have to do something because things crop up and yeah. they can't always make the face-to-face -face sessions. Exactly. So, I mean, this kind of thing would be ideal for you, really, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, it's just kind of getting people over that initial um, barrier of, of getting them com comfortable enough to be able to speak online and to, you know, happy in front of the camera and things like that. Because it is a, it's a big thing, isn't it? You know, people don't want to um, kind of expose themselves too much, really, isn't it? You know, to kind of criticism and what have you. And this is like immediate. Mm -hmm. um, but it is, I mean, I, I think for, it sounds to me that it would be really helpful for your students because they're so spread out as well. So when Jackie mentioned about um, giving you access to the blended learning pilot you know that that would be um something that would be very helpful i think as well yeah uh, perhaps see, um see how uh, other people do it uh this zoom that you've got deb mm. what's the limitations on this free version now um i i think it's uh, up to 50 i think you can have in terms of um participants i know when you're recording it you only get like 20 or 30 minutes um under the free version um, because it, and it will cut off but I mean I think if you didn't record it I don't think you're limited on time then so that and might you can, be something you can use it um, as many times as you like or is it only so many times a year no as many times as you like you kind of um, you can set up um, individual rooms for different things as well whereas I've just kept the same link um, that we used last time is the kind of individual personal link that I've got so that's the one that I've used um, but yeah, so have you set up a Zoom account, Pamela? Will I have had to to get onto this? I can't remember now. 
the um, last one. You've, it, it may have just given you access to it, um, but it just might be worth you having a little play with it, really. Yeah, I think it is something be... I thought about because um, we do like some one-to-one -one appointments with students as well to help yeah. them say so they're preparing for like a public speaking competition mm. and sometimes they can't make the date that that's on because they're not around or they're teaching or whatever. Mm. So I thought that this would be a good way of, I know it might be a little bit daunting for them, not only preparing for a talk, but they're <laughs> doing it over a webcam <laughs> but even if they just wanted a little bit of talk about their content or something if they could share their screen with the script they prepared because yeah. these are like three minute talks and stuff so they're normally scripted yeah. and I'd be able to see that or they could send it to me in advance but at least we could have a face-to-face -face yeah. chat rather than just do it over email exactly yeah. and it's you know it's, it's, it's helpful it. yeah definitely mm -hmm. and I and I think I mean for the first couple of times they do it you maybe they don't feel comfortable enough to have it recorded but it's what i found is that other people that didn't, didn't take part in these chats have found the chats quite useful anyway just yeah. from the point of view that they can see the group chat on the side they can see what it's like to interact and they can it takes the kind of scariness away from it doesn't it i think when people can see yeah the thing we did the other day um, on tuesday was a session called viva survivors so it was for to help students prepare for their viva mm. and we had a panel of five people who've all been through it and passed and everything was fine. I kind of share their experience and respond to student questions. Right. But I wonder if I could do, that's the one where only three turned up though. Yeah. When I could do a panel of five people onto something like this, Yeah. I could chair it a bit like you're doing now yeah. and pass to certain people, you know, so what questions were you asked, John? And John can come in and, and sort of talk about it because we could record that then, can we? And, yeah, um, be ideal. Be a bit of an issue, but we could do little snippets. I suppose we could do one about one aspect and one about another aspect. Yeah, definitely. Really. Otherwise, really. I'm just going to look into media services coming along to record the session, though, so that we yeah. can get it online and more yeah. can benefit from it. Then. Yeah, I mean, there, you know, there's there's quite a bit of research out there as well that says that people actually quite like the um, the informality of these kinds of things. Um, yeah. it's a bit like when you're doing a screencast or whatever that um that it's quite a good thing to leave all the mistakes in you know so that it's not yeah. completely perfect and kind of people warm to it as well so um yeah i mean i don't see why not it's just worth a go isn't it just kind of see how you get on with it really what Brilliant. do you use for screencasting um there's a couple of different things that i've used um we've now got i think the university has now got i don't know whether we've got a license just ourselves for camtasia um, yes, which is not university wide. You have yeah. to buy it, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but some of the free ones are quite good. I've used um, something called Jing, um, which is great for like um, five minute little screencasts. Um, depends what you want to do, really. Um, I'm sure some of the links are on the tell patch, but if they're not, I'll pop them onto that. Did you look at that link thing that I shared? Um, if the it's one not, with the different tools. Yeah, if yeah. it's um, if it's not on there, I'll pop it on there for you so you can have a little look. But that's quite an easy one to to kind of do. It's kind of point and click, you know. It's uh, do you talk over you what you're do. doing? Yeah, yeah okay. you can do. Yeah, it's quite quite good. Um, so that that might be um, a, a quick one to experiment with as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, but certainly if you're going to do kind of an, an interview type situation, this would be good for that, I guess. And then um, what I did with the, the fire alarm one the other day that we had is I actually ran that through an editing thing and just kind of chopped out most of the fire alarm bit towards the end and just added things. I mean, you could add um, screenshots and all sorts of things if you wanted to. Okay. Like question titles or something. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good okay. Idea. So, um, if I can just ask as well, then. So, in generally, then, you, you found lots of the kind of the tips that we've given. Have you found that helpful? Um, because obviously, one of the things that you'll be doing for your assignment is looking at the differences between synchronous and asynchronous communication and all of that kind of stuff. So, the, have you found that helpful with the module? The kind of the things that we've pointed you to. Was there anything that we we haven't pointed you to that you might want to go through or? I don't think so. I found it very useful. It's hard to know what you don't know, isn't it? But um, yeah, it's been good. The practical tips, especially, because then you can you know how to go and put that into practice, don't you? Oh, great. Okay, that's really good. I just had a little thing crop up on my screen to tell me we've got ten minutes left before they start charging me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's it's over to you, really. So I mean, is it that you've kind of got? got us so if there's anything you wanted to kind of ask us to go through or is there anything we can arrange later on for you or something 
I don't think so. The only one that turned up. <laughs> I was I was just wondering if um if I uh, enrolled Pamela onto the blended learning pilot. Yeah. Um, I could share the screen with her and show her around her a little bit. Yeah, yeah. do you want to do that for a couple of minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, you keep talking while I enrol. Shall we, <laughs> shall we keep this recorded? Or um... Um, probably I could stop it now, and then that'll give you a bit longer time. Maybe, yeah. Is that all right? You happy yeah. with that then? Yeah. yeah. Okay then. All right. We'll stop this now then. Um, and I think that'll record the weird chat that we've got on the side there as well. So thanks for uh, coming. I shall <laughs> stop this recording. Okay.